Hi everyone, welcome back to another collection video. My previous video was my full collection of jelly cats, and that video did not get as much attention as I was hoping it would, so maybe you all will like my Squishmallow collection a little better. I was trying to think about the types of Squishmallows that people might like to see the most, and I kept coming back to cows and Bigfoots. So... Hi! <laughs> Now, what's important to know about my Squishmallow collection is I am not specifically a Bigfoot collector or a cow collector, but I collect based on color. I love neutral tone Squishmallows, as you can see, so I'm really excited to show you my collection over the next few weeks. However, I do love the Bigfoots and I do love the cows, so I'm going to go gather up all of my Bigfoots and cows and I will be right back. As you can see, I had to remove a couple from the shelf, so let's take a look at who we've got. Alright, first up for my cows, I have, I think this is 4.5 inch and 8 inch Ronnie. I got both of these last Easter. This little cutie is from Five Below. I waited in line outside of the store to get him. He's very special to me because it was the first time ever that I waited in line for a store to open to catch a drop. And then I have 8 inch Ronnie who I happened to catch at a store called Smith's. It is a Kroger affiliate and the workers were stocking the shelves and were nice enough to ask which one I was waiting for. And I saw one Ronnie on the shelf and asked for him and they grabbed him and handed him to me. He is super soft and squishy and they fit my brown collection perfectly. The next cow is very special to me. We have little Balena, and as you can see here, she used to be a Flippamello, but I de-flipped her. Now it's not my best work. This was actually my first time ever attempting to do this, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. She is super cute, and I love this teal color. Next up is my only cow, Clip. I've got Clover, he is so cute, I love his little tail. I would love to have more cow clips, but for now I am very happy to have Clover in my collection. All right, for my cows last, but definitely, definitely not least, my Highland cow, Calton. He is so adorable. Unfortunately, I did have to order him from a reseller, because he was just keeping me up at night. Um, all my other cows I got either in trades or for retail, but this little guy was worth it. I love Calton so much. He is a 12 inch and his texture is just so unique. He's so soft and I love the shimmer on his horns as well. He is from the original release through Cracker Barrel, but like I said, I did unfortunately have to buy from a reseller. Alright, here is my small but mighty cow collection. Let me know in the comments which cow in this collection is your favorite and if you have any of these cows in your collection. Alright, next up is my Bigfoot Squishmallow collection. When I first started collecting Squishmallows, I did not like the Bigfoot Squish. Um, then one day I randomly fell in love with Benny and ordered him on Mercari and here he is, my first ever Bigfoot Squishmallow. I love his little smirk, he's got a little smile, he is adorable. This Benny primarily sits on display because I just treasure him so much. One of my amazing friends in the community named Britt made him a little sweater and I bought him these little fluffy sloth socks at Daiso. I do also have Benny from Five Below. He is my adventure buddy. He's the one that I'm not afraid if he gets a little dirty or beat up. I like to bring him on adventures with me. He rides in the car with me and I just love him. My only other eight inch Bigfoot is Miss Brina. I got her at Walgreens this past Valentine's season. I love her. She had been on my ISO list since my very first list ever when I started collecting. She is adorable and I felt like I just couldn't have my Benny without his Brina. 
Next up is another custom that I did for myself and it is my little five inch Zaylee. She used to be the Flippamello that flipped into the Christmas gnome, but I really just wanted a precious little Bigfoot all by herself. So I went ahead and deflipped her. I am much happier with my work on this one. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've ever deflipped a Flippamello and how it went because honestly, I wish I had some more to practice on. It was pretty fun. I forgot to mention I got this Zaley Gnome Flippamello retail um, from one of my local friends who was nice enough to do a pickup for me. I've got another Zaley and she is the Target Squeeze Mellow. I was at Target one day not even hunting for Squishmallows and I found her in the toy section and I just fell in love with her little arms. I think she is such a unique shape of Squishmallow and I really love her. She's also a great little adventure buddy. I love her tie-dye pattern as well and she's adorable. Next up, I definitely consider her a Yeti much more than I do a Bigfoot because she has no feet, but I had to include her. Her color is super cute and I love that it has a little bit of sparkle in it as well. I decided I needed to grab her because she matches perfectly with my Zaley family. I grabbed her in a mystery bag at Walgreens one night after I had a long day of work and going to class, um, so she's very special to me. Next up, I have another 5 inch Bigfoot. It is Joelle. She was on my ISO list for a very long time as well, pretty much from the moment I saw her. And then an amazing friend of mine on Instagram who lives in a different state offered to pick up and sell her to me for retail. So I am so grateful. I love my little Joelle. She's also a great adventure buddy. I think the Bigfoots uh, all by themselves are probably just the best adventure buddies for some reason. I don't know. Let me know if you feel the same, but I definitely think so. Last, but definitely, definitely not least. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this Benny Squeeze Mellow. He is the one that came to CVS during Easter. One of my friends who lives in the same state as me picked up and sold him to me for retail. I am so grateful. He is the one that has a little Easter egg on his belly right here, but I actually had this baby onesie just lying around and it fit him perfectly. I'm hoping to grab him some Build-A-Bear clothes at a thrift store sometime if I come across any, but for now, I think he's super cute rocking his onesie. Alright, so I do have a little bit more Bigfoots than I do cows, but here they all are. Again, let me know which Bigfoot in my collection is your favorite and if you have any of the same or if you're in search of any of these. Thank you all for watching. If this collection video is a flop as well, I might stop doing these collection videos and just go back to my hunting videos because those seem to be much more successful. But let me know what you think. If you do like these collection videos, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this with a friend so I know that I should keep going with them. If not, that's totally fine. I love doing my hunting videos as well. I am so grateful for every single one of you. I hope you all have a blessed rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.